Okay folks, one of the most frequent questions I get asked is about light meters. Well, this is a, a very common one, this is a Zirconic Flashmate L308S or you might have the later 308X. Same machine, different, different uh, model type. Okay, uh, you've got a few buttons, you've got your power button at the top there, you've got your mode button, your ISO button. On the side you have your metering button, you press that to get a meter reading, and here you go for your up and down arrows. Okay, let's start. So let's start by powering this thing up. Okay, and straight away you'll see, I'll just zoom into the display so you can see a bit better. There you go. You have there the, the uh, LCD display. Now across the top when you press the mode button it'll switch from daylight mode to daylight EV mode to flash mode to flash with the cord mode. There's basically it's the daylight mode is the most important one. If you now want to know uh, what the meter reading for this particular spot is you press the top button here and there you go. At 125th you need to set um, an f-stop of 4.5 and your ISO is set to 1600. If you want to bring your ISO down what you can do rather than recalculate just press your ISO button and you've got your up and down arrows here bring the ISO down to say 800 and straight away it's recalculated that you need an f-stop of 3.2. If you haven't got 3.2 aperture uh, which sometimes you haven't got a fast enough lens you can now bring the shutter speed down to an 80th at f4 or at 5.6 to 40th which of course is below a 60th of a second which means you'd need to, uh, to either up the ISO or stick it on a tripod. Uh, if we up the ISO to a thousand and maybe 1250 and bring the stop back down to 5.6 so at 5.6 now it's a 60th at 1250 ISO okay that's straightforward well, then we move on to the flash setting so you hit the mode button there is an EV this is called exposure value and that's something I think it's I don't I've not used it and it's uh, an old system of uh, light metering uh, where I think um, it, the scale was something like 1 to 20 at the moment we're on EV11, um, but you don't need to know about that, so we'll skip past that. So press the next mode button, and you've now got a flash with a little square around it there. Okay, now if you press the exposure button, there you go, it starts flashing. What it's basically telling you to do is to, um, it's ready to take a, there you go, there's another notification for me, it's ready to take a flash reading. So, say you've got your little home studio set up, what you do at this point is set your ISO to wherever you want, uh, set your speed to a hundredth of a second, because it has to be below the flash sync speed, and then just fire your flash, it's still charging up, just bear with me a sec. It's gone, it's gone on a ghost there, there we go. Right, okay, so here's a flash. And there you go. It's calculated that at 1200 ISO, your f-stop should be 6.3. And that's it, basically, uh, folks. There's one little thing you need to remember, is this is called an Invico. Okay, and that takes light from all around the area. If you were to switch it over, that's reflective light meter reading, which is basically the same as what your camera does anyway, so there's no point having a flash meter or a light meter if you're going to be using the reflective side of it. So I would just keep this constantly over there. Make sure it is always fully over, otherwise you'll get a false reading. Okay folks, nice speaking to you. I'll see you soon. Stay safe.